The SR is not guaranteed. Here we are. It's been a couple months and many of you have asked about this set. So here we are. We're going to start opening it right away. Um, a lot of you have been asking, will this set come out? I don't know why people ask if it's going to come out. Whatever comes out in Japan will definitely come out in South Korea. So rest assured, we are here with 151. For those who are box breakers, for those who are businesses, if you plan on selling this, breaking this, ripping this for people, make sure you specify that this is the Korean version and not the Japanese version. And also the SR is not guaranteed if you didn't catch that from the intro already. And also that the card quality is different. This, there should be uh, 20 packs, seven cards per pack, just like the Japanese version. And we're gonna see all about the quality right now. Of course, we have these silver borders, very nice. And we'll see if we have those reverse hollows. Some people did ask about that as well. Will we get the master ball reverse hollow? That's what this video is for. So we will see what happens. We have lovely Hitmonlee. Oh, we have Flare. See, there we go. So now you guys can really see. Yes, we do get the reverse hollows. Of course, this is just the regular Pokemon reverse hollow, beautiful artwork. And we have the Weekly Tough EX. We get that sparkle hollow as well. Not as bright as the Japanese version, again, quality difference that's one big thing to also note not just that also the full art cards the texturing will be different from the japanese printed cards of course this will be different from the traditional chinese simplified chinese indonesian thailand um, cards etc we have clefairy pp <laughs> that's the korean name ibui or ibui ibui is the, the korean name for espion ibui is ev we have hitmonchan very nice oh we have erica very nice here. And there's another reverse hollow of Voltorb, not the Master Ball. I'll be sure to catch the Master Ball if I do see it, if we do even do have it. But again, just to repeat guys, for those who are clicking through the video, because I, I can see where you guys click through, um, the Secret Rare is not guaranteed. Lovely Moltres Hollow Foil. I, will do, I do collect the Legendary Bird, so I'm gonna add that straight to my Legendary Bird binder. Very nice to open the set again though in another language and it's nice to see too that Korea continue to have the great quality cards and they're improving over time. We have Cloyster, we have this road. Oh, very nice. I love this artwork by Akira, Akira Komeyama. And I believe the Ammonite is also very similarly formatted. So we have another ball, uh, Pokeball Reverse Hollow, not Master Ball. Ooh, and we have the Mitsuhiro Arita Alakazam EX. I think we have the return of the Kadabra cards, as I mentioned in the Japanese version of this set. So very, very cool. And if we do pull the secret rare, what is my chase? Definitely the Legendary Birds EX or Zapdos EX SAR by Shin, uh, Shinbukaru, I believe that's the name. I've definitely um, come to love their artwork more, especially because of that card. We have Vitri Bell. Oh, Sanshu, very, very cute. Not re not Master Ball, just a regular Pokeball Reverse Hollow. Very nice. Oh, and Vaporeon, very nice holographic by Kiris Aki. A lot of um, people love their artwork because of the trainers as well. They focus a lot on the trainer cards. I think Marnie's a very good representation from Shield of their artwork as well. We have coughing. Ooh, Charmander. One thing that's fun to note about these artworks, um, especially the starters like Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, the artwork is uh, reminiscent of the original cards from base set. So that's really cool to see. We have Onyx. We have Scyther. Shout out to a passing bud. I know he loves Scyther. Ooh, Dordrio by Anasaki Dynamic. I love the um, actual positioning of this artwork. Very detailed, very cool. And our very first art where we have Nido King. Beautiful. I, I'd say um, Pokemon has really gone hard with the art rares in this set. Really beautiful backgrounds, really beautiful settings. I'd say one of my favorites is actually the Psyduck. If we do manage to pull that, I'll be very happy because I haven't pulled that in Japanese. I think I pulled Caterpie, Pikachu, and another card, but the Pikachu is really cute as well. I think another big chase in this set is definitely the Mew that has really cool layers of texture. I've seen many people show it off on Instagram. There's a really cool sunset texturing on that. We have Machoke. Oh, there's a nice Machoke art rare in this set as well. Ooh, Venomoth. Very, very nice. Definitely looking very glossy, very lovely. And a holographic Marowak. Very nice by Komatsu. Okay, on to the next pack. And still no secret rare. Again, not guaranteed. Honestly, when it comes to Korean cards, even if you pull a full art that you don't want, you gotta at least be grateful that you do get a secret rare because, again, it's not guaranteed. But definitely over time, throughout the generations, the pull rates have definitely improved somewhat, but still not guaranteed. 
We have Porygon. Oh, this looks very similar to the Porygon from base set. That background is very, very reminiscent, but it's more 3D looking and a better quality as well. Oh, Kangaskhan. I don't see those, this one very often, but Kangaskhan EX. I've definitely seen the full art a lot when people um, unfortunately pull it. Unless they like the card, you know, that's a whole different story if you actually like the full art. The Zapdos is very nice. Jay actually likes that one <laughs> for some reason, but I can't resist the SAR. Let's see what, let's see what else we can get. Ibui the Korean name for Eevee. So if you want to know the Korean names for the other um, first gen Eeveelutions, Flareon is Boosta, like Booster, Booster Pack. Uh, Jolteon is Jupisanda, and then Shamid is Vaporeon. We have another Keybone Reverse Hollow, and oh, okay, there's our Seeker Rare. It's a Nine Tails floor. Again, it's not guaranteed, so I can't complain. Very lovely. The texturing, of course, is not as prominent, but Hey, at least we got our secret rare. Very cool to see that. Ninetales is actually pretty cool too, as a Pokemon in general. Okay, we have Ghastly by Sao Sao, Zubat, Ponyta, Poliwhirl, Victory Bell, Nidoking. Oh yeah, there we go. Shibuti, sh Shibuti got it. That's the one. That's the our same artist of the Zapdos SAR. Ooh, very lovely art rare of Squirtle by Mitsuhiro Arita. Very lovely with the beach. Like the detailing on the water is quite incredible on this one so very happy to actually pull this one i don't think i've pulled any of the starters yet in the japanese version so i'm very happy to pull that in korean if i can get the bulbasaur or charmander i'll be very happy as well i think i actually did get aviso oh very cute slowpoke or yadon in korean as well same as the japanese name Sancho. we have haunter by komiya the whole ghastly haunter gengar line is by komiya oh lapras lovely not master ball but a lovely pokeball reverse hollow and another busata or flareon i love that artwork it's the non-reverse hollow this time and i pulled that before with the reverse hollow and these packs are definitely getting a lot easier no advertisements in these uh, as we can see even though these is this is like the first print run again sometimes the advertisements are super random but we do get that pamphlet i believe there's a card list in there as well oh we got bill very nice very cool reverse hollow to have actually not master ball but and raichu very very nice this is a great set for all the gen 1 fans korea is gonna go crazy for this some for some odd reason they're obsessed with first gen i do not know why i think some of them like gen 2 as well but historically anytime there's a gen 1 set released there they just they go bananas for it so <laughs> we have ivysaur oh look at that we have regular ivysaur and we have an ivysaur reverse hollow no sign of the master ball set so again keep your eyes peeled for that one it looks like it's gonna appear later on very lovely nine tails ex artwork i actually like this more than the full art just because it looks um, more detailed by kawaii one of my favorite artists their art style is very mysterious and eerie looking with the paint strokes. More on the dark side, but I kind of like that. Okay, next pack here. We have Squirtle, very cute. Again, reminiscent of the OG artwork from base set. We have Naong, that's the Korean name of Meowth. It is super cute. I like the close up actually, I'm letting that zoom. There you go, letting that focus a bit. Shibuzo's coughing, very nice. We have Anita Rina. Oh, and we have an Electrode Reverse Hollow. Still Pokeball. It's funny because they kind of match each other. Oh, another Star by Akira Komayama. Will not complain. That is a lovely holographic. Okay, let's keep going here. At least now we know we got our secret rare, which is pretty cool. But let's see what other art rares we can get. That's a nice thing about these kind of sets. Even if you don't get the secret rare that you want, you can get um, some lovely full art. So that's pretty cool. And we have coughing and another question oh okay there we go i hope this answers one of your questions yes we did get our first master ball with kingler so beautiful be sure to subscribe to guys if you want to learn more about korean pokemon cards because yes there are their differences but there will be similarities as well so get a little good look on that master ball reverse hollow very nice still looking for i believe one more art rare we already got two the, the nido king and squirtle so we got ponyta got Krabby, Diglett. Probably another question you guys are going to have, are there god packs in this set? Yes. Again, very similar to the Japanese version. They, you're not going to see them in English, most likely, because we haven't had those in the past. But the Korean version should have god packs as well. <gasps> Mangnanyang! That is the Korean name of Dragonite. Very, very cute. I love how bold the colors are on this card. Very nice. That's going to be for Jay, because he loves collecting Mangnanyang. Okay, we have, I believe, five more packs. So, five more opportunities to get something nice. Very fun to open this, especially in Korean as well. I'm really happy to see the implementation of silver borders. We have Pikachu here, very cute Pikachu to have. Also Pikachu in Korean is Pikachu, a little slightly different pronunciation. We have Tauros and Venusaur EX with the lovely holographic. That's a good one to get. 
think I pulled this also in Japanese. Haven't seen Blastoise or Charizard yet. I've definitely seen more gravitation towards the grass evolutionary line with my type of luck for this set, so that's very interesting. We have Venonat, Nidoran, by my favorite artist once again. Oh yes, and one um, other thing guys, I am not Korean. I know I probably show off a lot of knowledge for the Korean cards, the Korean language. I'm not Korean though. Oh, oh, okay, and we got Pentom. Sorry, gotta give some spotlight on this because this is one of Jay's favorite. Pentom is the Korean name of Gengar by Komiya. Very nice. But yes, I'm not Korean, so please keep that in mind. I know I have to emphasize that just because people do ask. I don't know why not like it's really important, but I'm just putting it out there. Please keep that in mind. <laughs> um, it's just Korean cards have been something that uh, Jay and I have enjoyed opening way before YouTube since 2018. That's a very nice Snorlax by Hyogonosuke. Oh, another Magnanyong, and what do we have in the back? It is an art ray, oh, very nice, of Pikachu. Very unique art style here. The, car the, the characters here have a very different art style versus what you normally see in the Pokemon anime. So very good art ray to pull. Very lovely to see that. Now I have that in two languages. So two more packs. And for future Korean sets, please subscribe as well if you want to see more of this, if you enjoy these types of openings, but also other languages like simplified Chinese, sometimes Indonesian, traditional Chinese, etc. And occasionally European languages if I can get my hands on them. It's very hard to get those type of cards from the States. Very nice, Aerodactyl by Shinji Kanda, another one of my favorite artists. It's very hard to pick a favorite artist. As an artist myself, there's just a lot of different, you know, styles that I really tend to gravitate towards. It's really hard to pick just one though. Voltor by Nagimiso, another artist that I like. Old Amber, we have Goldeen. Final pack guys, by the way, ooh, Dragonair. Those are such a lovely art rare of Dragonair that I've been really after. Hopefully in another opening I'll, I can pull that card. Kadabra, one, one that I mentioned. We haven't seen a Kadabra card in years because of a copyright issue with the Magician. And Blastoise, very nice, very nice. Okay, so that's my, that's my very first Blastoise EX. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up. So hopefully you guys learned a lot about Korean cards in this opening. And if you want to show support for my channel, please be sure to check out my trainer card that I made from scratch over the course of four months. If you'd like your own copy, be sure to DM me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next one.